Hey guys, what is going on? Nabuki here once again. It is time for another Maple Story video. I am here wanting to try out another class, and today I'm going to be creating the Paladin. Yes, that is right, the strongest warrior of them all. Ooh, am I going to cause some controversy there with that statement? Paladin! What do we think of when we say Paladin? My first impressions of Paladin, big armor, they're usually very loyal and they do things for justice. I don't know why, but when I think of a Paladin, I also think they're really quiet creatures. Typically, they're super like kept to themselves and they only say a few words, but the words they do say hold a lot of meaning to it. I don't know where I got that impression, but that's my thoughts on paladins. I feel like though, when they wear like big armor, they need to not have anything else underneath. It probably gets really toasty in there, so they gotta be loosey-goosey a bit because the armor is probably very hot and heavy. So gotta be loosey-goosey. When I think of goosey, well, I think of, I guess, geese in general because of the word goose. Is a flock of moose meese? Mooses! Wait, that doesn't sound right. Mooses? Stop, stop. Stop it. Go back. Go back. Go back to goose? Where do we go back to? We don't really have a back to go to, David. Okay, fine. You want to do it? Let's do it then. Let's do it. Let's go back to moose. If you really want to go back to moose so bad. I think moose are very buff. They're very strong. Maybe they are the paladins of the animal kingdom. Quiet moose. Soft moose <laughs> soft moose i think we need to combine something like gentle i don't want to use the word gentle again because the gentle straws mellow moose whoa wait let me tell you a little bit about this name mellow moose so the mellow comes from the quiet gentle kind-hearted soul of a paladin because that's kind of what paladins are, I feel like. And then the moose part is just how ripped and burly they are and aggressive they can be. So you have like the mellow side of them, but then also you got the moose side of them. No, mellow moose is taken? We're doing mellow moose, but we're doing two I's, capital I's instead of the L's, because someone already took the name. I am proud to introduce you to mellow moose, our beautiful paladin. How many explorers can we make? Mellow Moose! Dude, she look like a moose! Look at her! So if you guys were wondering, yes, I do have a paladin already on this account. It is level 202, I believe. His name was Copper Straw, tribute to Copper Sand, and he was beautiful. The thing was, I made him a long time ago. That was pre-Destiny, pre-everything, and I wanted to experience a post-Destiny paladin. I heard they got changed up a bit, and I don't really remember Fifth Job too much as well, so I'm excited to see Fifth Job and what that's all about. Yeah, let me just skip the tutorial, please and thank you. What job do I want to advance to? Warrior, please. Now I want to be a warrior. Oh, that's it? It was that quick? It skipped everything. It, it even skipped the whole boat ride. It skipped the red song. We're just here with Dancing with Balrogs. That was fast. Let me tell you, if you want to just get right into it, make an explorer. Oh, guess what, guys? We're going to get to use our Evan level 3 link skill. I got my Evan to 210 the other day. Look at that. Level 3 Minboki. Oh, that looks so good. Let's get that in there for sure. Fangblade. My man, good to see you. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, skip this too. Wait, like it was pretty cool the first four times making an explorer, but I'm just glad that for someone who loves to make explorer classes, <laughs> they, they have that skip functionality. All right, what's the up jump? Oh, the up jump is not double tapping up. You actually have to press your skill. Okay. All right, so what we got here, we got some stuff prepared for us. Good old Baki Choi was hooking me up earlier and we got this mega burninator. Yeah, let's burn the Mellow Moose mega character. So that's going to be up until 150. Beautiful. All right, Moose. What do you got? I'm tempted to dress her up already. We got to at least get a feel of Mellow Moose first in the original version before we just start going for the dress up. Level 10. Level 10. Torch Lighter. What is this? What is Torch Lighter? Okay, I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about this map. I was trying to like see another map, you know, kind of get a feel maybe for it, but this one, the spawn rate's a little low and the map size is massive. Monstrous news machines? Are these machines? Oh, they're actual news machines. <laughs> I forgot these mobs existed. I think this is for Adele. I kind of want to push an Adele and see how they are like as a bossing mule, a serious bossing mule, but that's later. That's later talk. That's future. 
we got to worry about this paladin first because i am really excited for this pally and just want to see how they do my, my main goal for paladin i think is of course getting a 200 but getting the feel of bossing with this paladin is this a fish on a stick oh my gosh it's a fish spear oh this is such a great weapon <laughs> I feel like this was a gachapon weapon back then. Yeah, but back then, like, people would ask, like, what class is this? You're playing a white knight? Before they were called white knights and pages, and they didn't know, like, what this was. And that was back when there was, like, only four classes. If there's only four classes, and you're asking, like, what is a paladin? They were pretty rare class to play, I think, and overlooked. It's like a class that people don't, I don't think, really dive into too much. They probably got a lot more popular because of Copper Sand to be honest, because Copper Sand was really obsessed with pages, and they they kind of made them known, like, yo, this is a class, and they're actually really cool. This place is really peaceful, though. This Art Street 5, the map is really big, but it's got a nice spawn here. It's been kind of nice hitting away at this early level. I could have probably definitely gone somewhere else. Let me, let me move. I kind of was tempted to go to these, like, Count Wizards. What are these guys like? They're level 30s, I saw. Ooh, there's not too many of them in this map. They're okay. A new monster has been collected. Whoa, hold on now. Yeah, I've never been in this map before. A rune? Okay, we're not going to hit the rune up because we're about to level. And I think we still got to do, like, our job advancement quest. Forget now how it is in post-Destiny. Oh, you know, I'm not even using my two X cards. I'm not using any XP modifiers. I just... <laughs> I just went in and hit. Uh, enjoy these moments where we just don't feel a difference if we're on XP modifiers or not. If you guys see a Mellow Moose, well, don't. Don't go see a Mellow Moose because that would put your life in danger. I don't think there is such a thing except right here of a Mellow Moose. All right, let's get this job advancement. Fangblade, what do you think? Yeah, I'm ready. I would like to be the page, please. Paladin. Yes. Yeah. Now we have become a page. I don't know what weapon we use, so we do blunt weapons and swords. Again, later on I'll have to figure out if I use two hand or one hand, but that's that's for later later on. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Divine swing. Okay. Knockback resistance. Yeah, this this kind of seems familiar. Weapon mastery. All, right, all the flavor stuff. Well, let's do divine swing. This seems like my main attack now. Close combat. Let's get dressed up. Blunt weapon. Yeah. Give me that hand. Wait, where's my hammer? Oh, there it is. It's very subtle. Oh, wait. This is a two-handed blunt. Even better. The mithril maul. Yeah. Give me that. Let's go slay some folk. Let's try this out. Usually, I'd be at like hazard layers. I know these guys are like really high level for me, but I think we can try it out. Oh, shoot. Hold up. Look at our swing. It's all sexy and sleek. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Let me get myself my two XP cards going. Yeah. Look at that. What's close combat? Oh, cool. All right. It just kind of sucks them to you then. Makes it become close combat. I got you. I got you. Nice. Oh, this port just goes all the way up here? No, this is a good map. Hey, let's go. Nice. No, oh, this map feels good. Got a nice little port here. Can swing and clear. I feel like I want to move. Okay, next level I'll move. We'll move to Boars. Since we are on the rune, I don't really want to look around too much for a new map. But I do like to kind of find these, like, maps that I haven't really been to as much. All right, let's, let me go. Let me just go to my, my comfort map. No way I die on the Paladin, though, right? I think Paladin, I'm pretty safe. I'll be staying alive here pretty well. Boss toss. This skill feels really clean. It's a clean-feeling skill. Each swing just means so much. It's... <laughs> It means so much because it needs to mean so much. Almost. All right, guys, here we are. Third job. Oh, we zooming. We zooming, dude. We can just skip all the tutorial quests. Wow. Get me there. Oh, it just levels me up right there. No more needing to clean my or <laughs> clean my clo kill kill the clone. Oh man, third job. We are White Knight now. Is that our title? White Knight. I didn't even put any into Agile Arms. No wonder I felt like I was attacking so slow. Oh, dude, my I didn't have any of my weapon booster that whole time. I didn't put in any skills. <laughs> that was so bad. I bet it feels so different now with, with, with the speed. Oh my goodness. All right, we can go to Castle Corridor again. This is a really good one for Marksman. Really good one when there's totems too for Marksman. But let's go ahead and try out our new skill. What is Divine Charge? Whoa. 
Oh, that's my new attack for sure. I'm, I'm using that one. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that's a rush skill. Nice. Oh, this is actually going to be easy in this map. We just go back and forth, right? I don't know, though. Mob spawn isn't that great, but we'll try. Just kind of zoom back and forth. <gasps> Monster portal. Yes, we want that. Yeah, this is the bonk skill right there. That That's the big old hammer happening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what is this skill? Ooh. I like that animation. That's cool. Oh, that reminds me of a Kamiga kill. Incendio or... Incarnico. I forgot that suit's armor's name. Dang it. It's like when he calls that big piece of armor down onto him. Really good anime. A bit heartbreaking, but good anime for sure. So what this skill does is it has a chance to put a debuff on the enemies that you're attacking. So probably really good when you're bossing. Rune is here. 64. I see. All right, guys. I, I just kind of want to level up. So let me go and try to find quickly a drake's map this map just the spawn and the platforms here really nice kind of got the same color theme as a marksman right now got a lot of gold happening just a simple and clean class man that's that's all i'm feeling right now we're just using one skill wonder at the moment and it's feeling pretty good just hitting what we need to hit the aoe is not like crazy right now but the stress level of this class is at a minimal this is like <laughs> so much different than playing an evan and how much I had to maintain and manage while trying to grind on the Evan. I watched Cocaine Bear last night in the theaters with a few friends, and th that was quite a movie. <laughs> that was, man, it's kind of what I expected Cocaine Bear to be. You guys may have seen a lot of advertisements for it. It's, uh, it's a movie that does not need to be seen in theaters, I don't think. It's one of those, but the experience was pretty fun. I think it is a movie that could become like a pretty big cult classic for people later down the road is just cocaine bear because it's just so wild all right so the base premise of this movie in case you guys want to know it is based off of true events but the movie exaggerated so much of what actually happened i'm pretty sure so there was this plane that was holding a whole bunch of drugs cocaine it said like 70 kilos i think which i don't, I don't really know my measurements and drugs but it seemed like a lot because there's like bags and bags of it and the pilot for some reason had to dump his whole cargo load down into this forest and then like go pick it up maybe that was like the plan was to you know dump all these bags and then he flies down and lands and then picks up all of his his cocaine in the forest somewhere um but apparently there was a parachute malfunction and the pilot died and then the cocaine was just left all around in nature. And then what happened? Well, a bear got to it and got into all of this cocaine. Well, not all of it, but a lot of it. And I don't know. I don't know what else is true from that. But then the bear goes crazy because it's on coke. <laughs> it's going nuts. Like, really, really nuts. I was actually a bit terrified, man. There, there's some parts where I was like, oh, my God. You know, I would not want to meet a bear on cocaine. I will be honest with you. A fear that I never knew I had, but now I have it, is a bear on cocaine. They're saying that there's still drugs on that forest floor to this day because of just how much was dropped and how much was not found. So that's the premise of the movie. Don't worry, I didn't spoil anything for you because there is so much more that goes behind this movie. <laughs> if you guys are okay with gore violence, a lot of cocaine, I guess i recommend this movie for you it's it's a wild movie man it's a wild movie but yes we are we are the opposite of cocaine bear here we are mellow moose so if you do see me in the wild do not approach me still because i think moose are actually there's more deaths from moose i think from bears i feel like that's a statistic i want to say that is it may not be and i might just be making that up but i yeah, I'm gonna Google it really quick. Hold on. More people are killed by large herbivores than by predators. In North America, moose attack more people than bears and wolves combined. Bears and wolves don't want nothing to do with us. It's the moose. It's the moose that are terrifying out there. Next sequel, do cocaine moose. I swear, that would be 10 times more terrifying than a cocaine bear. Because moose already straight up attack people. They are terrifying animals out there. All right, and I think it's because of this, all right? 
is because moose look so friendly and cute when you see them in the wild they're like deer but more just chill and just standing in one place so it makes you want to go hug them and go touch them and then they'll just mess your day up i have a friend who's obsessed of trying to hug deer and i'm just afraid one day he's gonna see a moose and go try to hug it and it's just gonna be bad because moose will let you come near them but they'll want you to come near them so they can show you why you should never get near them again. It's almost like a lesson in itself. Hear me out, a moose is like a stove, right? A stove will just chill, chill and sit there and be hot. And it'll just let people come and touch it. It's not gonna run away from it. It's not gonna be like, yo, don't touch me. It's like, no, touch me, see what happens. I dare you, just touch me one time. And when the stove is hot, like, oh my God, it's hot. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna touch that anymore. It's like a moose, except the lesson that a moose will show you, it's a one-way lesson. You're not gonna be coming back from that lesson. Maybe my name is false advertising. I don't know, now I'm kind of worried about my name, Mellow Moose. Will people just think moose are mellow? I'm conflicted now, guys, I'm conflicted. Ooh, but what I'm not conflicted about is the judgment. Let's go. Oh, we getting dressed. Dressed to impress. Look at us. Oh, we got a little popsicle. Oh, <laughs> so cute. What is this? Oh man, it'll be so cool if it changed up the animation for the skills. I know I'm asking for too much though. Yeah, combat orders. Boom. I loved combat orders. Combat orders plus one's all your skills. So every skill gets like now plus one. Or no, this is plus two. Oh wow, okay. All these skills get plus two now of their level. And I think they can like maybe surpass their max level. That was how it was before. I'm not sure if how it works now. I, I might need to read it. Look at that, my skills are proccing. I got this cool little blue armor thing above my head now. Oh, it's all good. It's all good in here. No, but for real though, like talking about just how scary moose are and stuff, I actually really do want to see a moose in person. <laughs> like. I think they're just so majestic and cool, but like not go and try to mess with the territory of the moose, but just observe it and just see it and like there, you know, maybe at a safe distance. My mom just recently visited Alaska. That, that was where I was born, if you guys didn't know, was Anchorage, Alaska. So my mom does have a lot of history there, friends and um, no family, I don't think they're over there anymore, but just a lot of friends. So she went to go revisit it and she said moose were walking around in her yard whenever a moose would come by like all the neighbors just like went inside instantly <laughs> they like did not go outside that's when he knew it was time to go inside when a moose was around the property but she was taking pictures of it and she was really close to it it was just just chilling in the backyard let me debuff this guy incendio that's not how you say it how do you say it kami ga kill ins incursio dude i was saying everything but it incursio incursio that's what it was. Incursio. Oh, it's so cool. This is a humble class right here. We just spunk in our enemies right now. Nice. 88. Late for a date. Me trying to train in different maps didn't last too long. <laughs> I just resulted back to my comfort maps. These are nice maps, man. I can't help it. I can't help it, all right? Should I get my pet and just like loot up some of this stuff? Yeah, let's just num num all this up. There might be some goodies in there. Num 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 num. I don't think I even gave like you guys a proper rating for Cocaine Bear. Um, I would rate Cocaine Bear like a six or seven out of ten. It was it was a fun movie. It was okay. It wasn't amazing or great. It's not a movie that was like a must see, like Saving Private Ryan or Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Super bad. Those are my like must see movies. It's like one of those unplanned movies. You know those movies that like you don't really need to make a plan for. Lord of the Rings, you need to make a plan for. It's like, we're going to sit down, we're going to watch Lord of the Rings. But Cocaine Bear is like, oh, what, what's on? Cocaine Bear? Yeah, let's watch that. That sounds like a good time. Nice. 94. That one felt good. That one felt good. I don't know what it was about that level, but it felt good. This might level me, eh? Almost. Almost leveled. I've been greatly enjoying this class so far here to 100. I don't know what it is. I, as you can see, the skills aren't that much too. It just, it feels nice. Man, that's simple and clean, dude. Just like how I like my tacos. Like I said, simple and clean is the way to go. All right. You ready? <laughs> Level 100? Oh man, that was fast. That was a fast and furious. Wowzers. All right, well, fourth job. And we just skip again? We can actually just skip every single quest yep there it is divine mark blast heaven's hammer i think i remember this one kind of want to go hit up zach oh i got seven minutes for the rune okay 
Well, let me go hit around the rashes like I usually do for a bit. And <laughs> punish the rash and just test out these skills. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was cool. Big explosion happened. Oh, like that. Whoa! So that's just my normal divine charge skill, but I think every so often, yeah, a big flare will come out. A lot more AoE now, I can already tell. We're just, we're hitting big. All right, what's this blast skill? Whoa! Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that big old paladin coming out of the back. That is so cool. Dude, this is giving me Incursio vibes for sure. Just like having a big suit of armor fight for you. Like, that's my thought of paladins. We're big suits of armor. And that's what I've been saying is like, it feels like it's really putting that theme into play. And I, I just really appreciate that. Even their suit is working for them. They just cannot contain this paladin. I don't know if it's a good skill to be using, but just the animation is, is super dope. Little boss toss. And Curcio! Oh, we can like maybe just alternate the hits here? I don't know if that's a play. We're doing something. Okay, well, we're hitting like a wet noodle right now. I'm gonna be honest, this guy's not feeling it, but we did get a level. Let's go. I'm just waiting for the rune timer for five minutes to get off here. Oh, I didn't even check out my big heaven's hammer yet. How do we do this? What is this? Marks enemies struck by your blast skill with a divine brand. Upon reaching the max number of stacks, divine brands detonates, inflicting additional damage that ignores some of the enemy's defense. Whoa, cool. Divine blessing, maple warrior, high paladin, hero's will, guardian. Oh, guardian. This is a revive. Revive your closest party member, then grants both of you invincibility for five seconds. Is this an iframe also? Can I just use this as a normal iframe i really am digging the animations for sure really pretty okay so blast blast marks an enemy now and when the blast stacks gets full then explosions happen which i think because we're one-shotting these guys we probably won't see those stacks right the divine judgment i feel like blast would be a bossing skill just from what that definition is because it wants you to stack the blast stacks and if i mean we're mostly just one-shotting the mobs so this kind of makes me think it's a bossing skill oh yeah yeah yeah. let me check out my hammer my where is it heaven's hammer do we hold it whoa cool all right so we don't hold it anymore it's just a big hammer that comes out and smashes big cooldown though yeah 29 second cooldown Expected. Yeah, okay, let's go hit up Zach then. Get all of our XP buffs aligned. And we're just going to use Incursio the whole way through. Let me give my my a fame here. Be nice if we get some equips. Face accessory, eye accessory. That's all the stuff that we're going to really be looking for. We're going to call down Incursio right here. Incursio! And then we're going to smash with the big hammer. Boop! Woo! Careful! And then let's just go to town. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> The big XP's. Oh man. I don't really notice the blast charge going off, but oh, that was crazy. Always love the good old first boss toss and no equips, right? No equips. Unfortunate. Paladins are pretty dope. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Ooh, what are the hyper skills gonna be? Some of the hyper skills for classes are game changer. Like it just changes up the whole class. So it'd be cool to see what they're going to be incorporating with the hyper skills here. Nice. There it is. 121. Perfect. Well, rune ran out, but I'm about to level here. So why not do one more level a rune here for us? 123. 24. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end it here. 124. We will pick it back up and get this class of 200 very soon. I'm excited to kind of push this class just a little bit, get it to hit some bosses and see how it feels. Yeah, this has been a really fun experience. I've been enjoying the Paladin, but much love, one love, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Deboki, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye. I feel your breath closing.